For many countries, a census is a mere statistical exercise. But not so for North Macedonia. A lot is at stake here. A minority group must show that it makes up at least 20% of the population to be allowed to use its language in official correspondence and receive quotas for public jobs. The last census back in 2011 was cancelled after majority Macedonians and ethnic Albanians accused each other of manipulating the results. And the mistrust is still alive. The census is very much politicized because it had already failed some time ago for political reasons. Some politicians are again trying to impose the same story, the ethnic system, the rights that flow from it, and the political consequences of the census means that it is not treated as just a simple statistical operation, but means a lot more. Ilina Dmitrievska has gone door to door in the mostly Macedonian Ilinden near the capital Skopje asking people to take part in the census. She says this time around it all seems fine. The census is going very well in the municipality of Ilinden. The interviewers are not turned away. Everyone agrees to participate. The process is also running smoothly in nearby rural Sarai, made up of mostly ethnic Albanians. But there is still a sense of caution. If the census does not succeed, people will never open their doors again. Since the last census in 2002, North Macedonia is believed to have lost 200,000 people to immigration. This has already caused fears that the lower numbers could jeopardize rights and stoke political tensions. Abdul Wehab, UP, TRT World.